Hey everybody, my name is Kedemar and welcome back for a new series, uh, officially new, not really new game, but a uh, new series by itself, uh, Franchise Mode Boys. So we're going to be playing Franchise Mode, of course, for you guys. I put up a poll a couple of days ago asking you guys, what do you want me to play next? Because I finished up uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. So um, basically I asked you in the poll, what do you want me to what do you guys want me to play and you for the most part decided to uh, for me to play this game and uh, th this mode in particular which i'm fine i'm fine by uh, by it i already went ahead and changed the rosters set up the franchise that i want to play as and everything you're going to see in a minute uh, i want to i i did activate uh, the latest roster update and everything boys i didn't do any tweaks to it uh, I'm on the latest update right here boys, so we didn't do any tweaks or anything, but we are on the 10th of February That's the latest update uh, Player movements everything I did make the latest trade they made with Galchenyuk and everything He's with uh, Toronto. I'm gonna show you guys real quick So you're gonna see uh, Galchenyuk with Toronto right here. All right So I made a couple of, uh, of the trades for the ones that are minor trades and stuff I didn't really do them because I couldn't uh, figure out too much where these players uh, were, right? They were in minor, minors and everything, so didn't want to waste too much time. We're going to go straight into it, into franchise mode. I'm going to load uh, load the save file that I'm supposed to play in right here. You're going to see in a minute. Uh, there it is, boys. So franchise mode, New York Rangers. You can already see it. So I'm going to be playing as the New York Rangers here. This is my this is going to be my team that I chose. I already set up the divisions to make them like a real life uh, right now. We've got the North Division, uh, the East Division, the West Division and the Central Division. The Eastern and North uh, Divisions, I put them both on the Western Atmosphere, Western Conference because of the Central, normally the Central Conference, the Central Division, right? The original one is the same amount of teams that uh, the North Division has right now. So it's the uh, least amount of teams, boys. So that's uh, who I chose to be with. Uh, I, uh, as we are playing with the New York Rangers, I'm going to show you really quick uh, the standings. So I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking to, to you about, boys. So we got the Pacific Division, which is the division we are in. All right. That's the division we are in. we got the Bruins, Philadelphia Flyers, Pittsburgh Penguins, Washington Capitals, New, uh, us, of course, the Islanders, uh, Devils, and the Sabres, all right? So, Central Division, this is what I was talking to you about, boys. Montreal, Jets, Edmonton, Calgary, uh, Ottawa, Vancouver, and Toronto, all right? So, you already know what it looks like. Uh, you guys let me know if I made any, any mistakes, but I don't think I did. Everybody's in their proper divisions now, all right? So, they're all, we're all going to be playing against each other more often than not i uh, hope so at least we got uh all of our plays now we're going to take a look at our plays in a minute i just want first of all i want to take a look as a great a good gm any good gm we're going to take a look at the coaching uh, i'm always going to also show you the settings of course so rules let's make up the rules real quick boys so fighting one Penalties, we're gonna put it at that uh, one. I don't want it. Uh, I don't want too many penalties. Not that it matters too much, boys. But uh, you never know. Penalties, time scaling three. So there we go. Right here, this is one I want to show you. We are gonna be playing on medium scoring and high shot frequency. What that's gonna do is, uh, they're gonna score like normal. I imagine, right? They're gonna score like normal, but. They shoot a lot, so that means that they're going to basically produce a lot more because they shoot more. But the goalies are going to be better as well. So it's going to be better stats for everyone all around. So it's, I, I prefer it that way, boys. Uh, trade difficulty easy because I don't like to be challenged at all. Uh, uh, this is very arcadey. You already know for me, boys, I'm an arcadey type of GM and stuff like that. Uh, waivers off, of course. Consider uh, consider uh, penalty time three uh, three out of six and uh, there we go. So that's pretty much it. We also obviously we're gonna not uh, have anything else going on. I'm not gonna change too much right here. This is pretty much it. I think gameplay wise we've got. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys 
nine of injury occurrence so we're not going to be injured too much uh, it's literally the norm for me i always put it at nine all across the board audio visuals don't matter none of this matters or anything so we're good to go boys we are good to go uh first thing i want to do is definitely look at my coaching staff all right first and foremost now, the reason why I chose the uh, Rangers is because they've got Alexis Lafreniere, right? They've got the biggest prospect out there so far. This year, in his very first year so far, he only has two goals in like, what, 20 games or something. So he's playing like trash, absolutely trash. He's, he's playing like a bust right now. So we're going to try and change history, put a team around him and try as much as possible to give him a nice, good, lengthy career so we're going to see if we are going to be able to do that for him. We got, uh, if we take a look at the coaches, we got a good coach, uh, A minus generalist. I like to see that. Uh, the only thing I want to, uh, I, I worry about is for, um, I guess Lafreniere. So he's not good with Lafreniere. So this is the problem. I want someone that is going to be able to help out Lafreniere as much as possible. So. He may be an A minus voice, but he's absolutely trash, right? He's not good for Lafreniere. Uh, a B, this is good enough to be a coach, but I don't know if he's uh, if he's good with the um, with anybody. So I, I'm gonna fire this guy. Let's fire him, boys, and uh, let's see if he's gonna be good enough. So if I put him promote really quick, interim head coach really quick, uh, let's put him up. Is he good with Lafreniere? He's pretty decent. There it is. So I'm going to keep him as the interim head coach for this season only. Uh, next season, we're going to find ourselves a real coach, boys. But for now, we got that. We also are going to need now, though, uh, an assistant coach. So we are going to need an assistant coach uh, for that. Uh, I'm going to say for that, for that. Hold on. Assistant coach. We got plenty of money we can spend to the coaches. Uh, there's not a lot uh, we need to worry about. So let's just go into this category right here. All right, first off, I, I need to go take a look back really quick. So we have a general list for assistant coach already. So we need an associate coach. The associate coach is going to be the one that does the, um, the penalty kill and such, right? Yeah, so we need someone that's good with the penalty kill and the power play. We need someone that's good with that, uh, both these things. Uh, basically, so let's take a look really quick. Uh, do we have anybody that's the best off? Power play is really good for him. Penalty kills garbage. Uh, there we go. That's the that's a good one right here. A C A plus. Okay, all right. Oh oh, there it is. There it is. So this girl right here, Tarvine and boys. That's a perfect girl right here. We're gonna have her as NHL associate coach, and give you like. A lot of uh, a lot of it a lot of it let's give you the double amount boy my girl let's give you uh, eight point uh, and uh, the maximum basically we're giving you the maximum and you're an associate coach so you're moving up in the world we got to uh, we're gonna have uh, this girl as the associate coach boy basically I don't have anything else goalie coaches are pretty garbage and stuff we're gonna keep the rest as it is for now scouts I'm not even gonna touch I don't care for one bit about the scouts, boys. They can do whatever they want. I'm not going to worry about them whatsoever. Next move is going to be roster moves. So we're going to take a look at what we've got uh, what for us. We've got the whole controversy with Panarin. We're going to talk about it in a second. Uh, Z Zibanejad in the center position. So you guys already know I rock with 4-4-4 four, 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 plus another extra forward for depth-wise. So we're going to see what we got. So Zibana Jad, 86. Ryan Strom, 84. Chittle, uh, 81. We've got uh, Howden at uh, 78. Blackwell, 78. Uh, Rooney. So Rooney, you're going to go back into the minors right here. They're not good enough for me. All right. Let's take a look really quick. So what do we got? Who's the best option right now for us uh, in this little position right here? So we got this guy. Um... I don't know. So he's got we got a top six, a medium top six player, and we got a top nine. So an experienced player. I'm gonna look uh, at the stats, the maximum stats right here. We gotta look at end eye. So whoever's got the best end high here, I'm taking 
All right, so Alden, you're going to play in the minors. You're playing the minors. I'm keeping Blackwell. He's got a better hand eye. I need this guy to play instead. Uh, we've got left wing. So one, two, three, four. Panarin, big time uh, thing going on for him uh, over Russia, boys. He's actually not playing for the Rangers anymore uh, that much. We're going to keep him playing, though. He's still with the Rangers technically, but he's not playing because he's got the whole controversy with Putin and everything, which is... Uh, pretty bad let's not talk about it if i don't want to get cancelled by russia as well uh they're a pretty dangerous uh, country so we don't want to talk about that right so a uh, panarin Kreider, lafreniere and uh, lemieux now lafreniere is set up as an 82 high elite overall we're gonna see what we can do with him boys we're gonna try our best right here uh, giuseppe all right so it looks like this is our best option right here actually now that i think about it the way that i do it usually is between the seven and nine so i think uh it's either lemur yeah either lemur or giuseppe that could play so he's 81 and uh, lemur is an 83 yeah lemur is much better boys la is good and everybody's good on that side all right so right wing now we do need a right wing so we're gonna need i guess kratsov it's pretty easy to choose already so we got all these guys right here We've got Truba. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we need a seventh uh, defenseman. Yeah, okay, so we got these choices right here. Why aren't they playing? So, end high, 78. 81. We need to play Miller, boys. We need to play Miller right away. Uh, what about these guys? Yeah, 73. You're garbage. You're not playing. One, two, three, four, five, six right here. Uh, seven. So he's 75. Oh, he's garbage as well. What the hell? Why, why were they playing right there? I don't get it. Yeah, 78. These guys got to play. So Johnson's going to be my... Uh, the guy that's going to be playing as a depth uh, forward, as, I, I guess. Goalie-wise, we've got Shosturkin and Georgiev. Perfect. And we've got Kincaid in the uh, depth, def uh, depth goalie, I guess. Right? He's going to be there. Now, do we have any good goaltenders in the minors? Not really, so I don't have to worry about uh, trading him. We can keep him in the minors. Don't worry about that. All right, so that's perfect. Actually, I uh, forgot. I forgot, forgot. Uh, we are going to need a depth of forward, boys. I did not bring up a depth forward, so we're going to need one. Uh, hopefully, someone that uh, does not uh, needs to does not need to grow, basically. So... Someone in the 75s maximum. So one of these two guys right here. So Rooney, uh, 77 of NI and 81. So Brodzinski uh, is going to be the one who's going to be depth forward for us. We're going to do best lines for now. Uh, we're going to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the free agency center though. And we're going to take a look. So we got 49 out of 50 players. We got a pre we're pretty maxed out in terms of contracts. We can try and get our luck and maybe get an extra defenseman to really help out the team, boys. Which is, I think I'm going to try to do, obviously, with uh, Buffalgun. We got goalies. No goalies whatsoever. So it's just Buffalgun, really. And we've got Gramner. You never know. We might want to get our hands on a guy like Gramner, maybe. But uh, I think we're pretty maxed out in terms of right wing's position and stuff like that. I think I just want to get my hands on Buffalgun. We are going to trade one or two players to make sure that uh, that this guy comes true, uh, comes in, right? So uh, we're going to give him how much, how many years, boys? So I'm going to do something right here. Just like Superman, I heard, uh, I was watching his things and stuff. He said that he was uh, going to limit, uh, make himself, uh, give him, uh, himself some limits and stuff. I'm going to do the same, a little bit less limits though. But the, uh, one of the limits I'm going to do is I'm going to give exactly what the player wants. For free agency wise, I'm going to have to uh, give him exactly what he wants. If I give him uh, the exact years, basically, I'm going to be able to give him the amount of con salary I want, right? This, all the amount of salary I want for the exact years he wants. But if I move up, his, uh, I can only move up his years by two years, all right? backward two years or forward two years just like johnny so backwards or forwards two years only 
And if I do that, I cannot upgrade the salary. I, ca I gotta put it exactly at the asking price that he wants. So I'm uh, for now, I just want him in the team. So I'm just gonna give him the one year deal that he wants. And I'm gonna make sure that he comes in. So I'm gonna put 3.9, all right? Perfect, perfect. So we're gonna get that. Um, let's just do that, I guess. We are going to do a trade really quick right off the bat we're going to do a trade uh, now i do not want to trade him for a guy that's in our division so let's take a look so who's in our division the bruins flyers penguins islanders capitals devils sabers i do not want to trade him for someone in my division neither for this one so we want to trade him for someone from the east side i guess so that's what we want to do so let's just find a trade, find a trade for any player, a garbage player that we got basically or something, right? We might actually be able to do like a decent trade actually. Hold on. I might be able to do some cheese right here. I love doing some cheese, boys. Doing some uh, cheesy stuff. So we're going to uh, we're gonna see really quick. I might be able to get like a, a nice little thing going on right there. So prospect. Yeah, uh, a Schneider. I got like Schneider, right? Bing boom like that so these two guys just like that and we're also gonna now we need to trade somebody we need to train somebody here someone that uh, we have too much of so we got uh, too many players right here I think center we've got we got too many centers right I think we got yeah one too many centers so we can trade that guy and one two three four yeah, we got a little bit too many right here. So I think I'm thinking uh, let's just trade uh, actually trade both these players up. There we go. Just like that. Now we got to find a team that can get uh, that we can trade it for. So Schneider, they're interested. Let me see if there's anybody that's interested other than uh, Schneider, right? In uh, somebody else than Schneider. Doesn't seem like it. All right. So I think the Ducks were safe to trade them for him. We're going to see though. I want to see if I can't trade them for the, oh, the Ottawa Senators boys. Now they're in the same division, but it's not going to hurt me because they're minor players. So I might be tempted to try something out boys. Uh, second round pick. Oh yes, sir. All right. So I'm not going to be able to get the first round, but I can get their second round and third round pick probably second and third round pick for all of this. Let's cheese it up, boys. Okay, that's a bit too much to ask for. So second and a fourth, maybe. Let's try that. Uh, they don't have a fourth. Okay, so let's just uh, second and a fourth from Lex uh, next year. Nope. Okay, we're going to try it, boys. We're going to try our luck. Uh, a six? No, neither. So just a second. Neither. A bit too much. Okay, so even the second round pick is too much. All right, two third rounds then. That's got, surely that's enough. There it is. Okay, two third round picks for all these players, these prospects that uh, we don't need to play. Two washed up players plus two prospects, boys, for two third rounds. I'm clearing out the roster, basically. I'm just clearing out the roster, making sure that Buffalo Gun will come with us, will sign with us, all right? So that's all I'm doing. That's the only thing I'm, I've been doing, boys. So we're good. Now we've got some space for Buffalo Gun to come by. So we're good. Let's go into the edit lines. I'm going to edit them up real quick and I'll see you guys when it's uh, once it's done. All right, boys, I did the changes. The lines are done. Uh, as you can see, this is what our team is going to look like mostly for the most part in this year. Uh, the first year of simulation, right? It's going to be Panarin with uh, Zabanajad and Kako on the first line. Uh, you guys heard me right on that one. Uh, Lafreniere with uh, Ryan Strom and Buchnevich on the second line now. The reasoning for this is now I'm going for the best overalls. So 90 a plus, right? Every five overalls is uh, the ones that are going to play the best. So 90 plus, right? 90 to 94. Uh, basically, uh, that's the range of Panarin. Uh, he's in the 80 to 84 for Lafrenia. So that's why he's there. He's in tied up with La Kreider. So it was either him or Kreider on the second line. I went for Lafrenia on the second line because he gets to play with a sniper. He needs to play with someone that, uh, that can score goals. Otherwise, he was going to have 
maybe Kratsov could have helped him, you know, if I move them up like that, it says plus three, but uh, that's because he's got a power forward, but I don't like him playing with a two way forward, that's kind of going to hurt him all around, I think he's better off playing with a two, because if I do that, uh, say if I do that right here, that doesn't really help out that much, does it, so I'm just going to keep it like that for now, we'll see afterwards though, uh, so playmaker, playmaker, sniper, so... We'll see if they can uh, get uh, some goals with Bushnevich, Kratsov, Chadel, and Kreider on the third line. Pa two power forwards with uh, a two-way forward. We've got um, Lemieux playing with Blackwell and Gauthier. So this is really weak point right there. We've got uh, not too good of a, a fourth line. We don't have any depth whatsoever. We're going to have to do with what we got. Defense-wise, I've got a pretty decent defense setup though. we got uh, Kendra Miller. Playing on the first pairing, boys, with uh, Jacob Truba. So, plus three overall for them right there. That's perfect. We've got a Lindgren and Fox and Ayek and D'Angelo. All right. So, that's uh, that. Uh, special teams, Lafreniere. Now, this is my bread and butter right here. Power play is going to be fantastic for us. We've got Lafreniere, Ryan Strom, and Krasov with Panarim on the, ba uh, on the back end and Adam Fox. Kreider, Zabanejad, Kako, Miller, D'Angelo. Plus five across board, boys. And uh, over here, you can see the four-man power play penalty kill. This is my weak point a little bit. So penalty kill, not too good. We'll see how it goes. And uh, Shishterkin, obviously, as the main uh, starter. So that's uh, basically that. I went ahead and changed the AHL as well, but nothing too much uh, going on for the AHL. Why? So we don't have to... Uh, to change anything whatsoever. Uh, we're going to do that really quick though. Uh, aggressive for sure. Blue to blue. one three, one We're going to do full on attack. Uh, a pressure. Protect the net. And staggering. Uh, staggering. I'm going to collapse. There we go. Collapse. Uh, large box. Yeah, large box. Shooting. Uh, I want you on umbrella. There we go. Uh, blue to blue. Uh, blue to blue, not really. I want a uh, strong slide, a slant, single swing, stay wide. Uh, close support. There I go. Close support, aggressive. Uh, offensive, I want you overload. Overload, uh, overload as well. Yeah, I want that. That's exactly what I want, boys. All right, so we're good to go. We're good to go, boys. Let's uh, go straight in. We're going to start simulating. Uh, before I, I do anything, forgot. Captain in jerseys. Let's find out who we want as our captain, boys. Uh, who's we don't have a captain just yet. Okay, so we got Jake and uh, Jake the uh, Cup, Truba, Kreider, and Zabenajab. All three of these players as uh, I guess an assist man. I kind of want to put an assist guy on uh, Lafrenia, so we're gonna do that. There we go, Lafrenia. You're gonna be my assist, and uh, there it is. All right, so that's perfect. Uh, that's perfect in itself. We're going to keep it that way for now. So Lafreniere is going to be in the assist. Boys is moving up already. We're going to simulate uh, the pre first preseason game. I'm not doing any trades. You can fuck off. There we go. All right. So we're going to move up. I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to simulate right away the preseason. I don't want to mess around here. Let's just simulate uh, the preseason all together. Uh, it's going to be really fantastic. So I'm going to reject your offer. I don't feel the quality of the roster matches the challenge that I'm with. What? What's she talking about? The, ch the Okay, the quality of the roster, boys. So she's basically telling me we're a trash-ass team. We're not even worth her, uh, her money. What the hell? I gave you all the money in the world. You're moving up from an NHL girl to a an uh, NHL uh, like type of coach. And she's not happy. She doesn't want none of it. She's got to be out of her mind. All right. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. All right, so let's take a look. P power play then. We're going to take a look from here. So a, uh, I'm looking for AAs, boys. AAs right here. Power play. So she's good. I mean, AHL coach. She wants to be a, a, an head coach, right? For, I mean, AHL, but look, she doesn't want to sign in. And I, I, gave you, I gave her all the money, boys. So she's not going to come in. What about this guy? Is he going to accept? Let's try this guy. Uh, NHL associate coach. There we go. You're moving up, my guy. You're moving up, and I'm giving you all the money. All the money that you could possibly want, right? 
Uh, uh, there we go. Giving you a maximum amount of money. Now, please accept. I mean, there's no reason as to why they should refuse right there. Come on, that's ridiculous. Let, let's go. They got to accept right here. All right, so that's uh, that's that's just similar, uh, simulate the regular season really quick. Extremely happy to accept. All right, we got some changes to do, boys. We've got Puffle Gun in the team now. Uh, let me go make those changes. All right, go, boys. So it's done. It's already done automatically for me. Uh, it has been done. So I just switched up. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. Switched off Miller. So Miller is going back to the minors. He's going to play instead in the minors, uh, trying to grow him in the first pair for the minors. Buffalo Guns coming in instead, right? I feel like it's a better choice for us in that case. So Buffalo Guns coming in. He's going to play uh, with uh, Jacob Truba. So already we've upgraded our defense tremendously, boys. Our defense is all the way uh, all the way up right there. So that is fantastic for us. That's exactly what we wanted. Happy to, to join the team. There we go. So we got Gomez as the associate coach, boys. Just like that. We got him for three years, I believe. So that's exactly what we wanted, boys. So so let's see uh, where we are right now. Are we doing good? Did we do good in the um, preseason? It's a good pre uh, pre uh, pre look, boys, at uh, what we could be able, uh, what we would be able to do. I imagine, right? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, five wins. Okay, so five wins and two losses. Five two, five and two in the preseason, boys. Now. Not a guarantee it's going to be the same thing. Is that a preseason game again? Or are we starting the actual game right here? I think we are starting. The, this is the the start. Yeah, the first game of the season. It's going to be up against the Boston Bruins, boys. I'm really excited. Really excited to start this thing up, boys. So we're going to do it. We're going to do our thing, obviously. Now, uh, normally I would uh, take a look. We're going to we would enter the game right but uh, first thing first, I want to actually simulate right away. I want to start the simulation. All right. So we're going to do the first 10 games like we usually do. Or we're going to uh, go week to week. You know what? Let's just go week to week. Let's just do that really quick. So first week, of course, first game against the Boston Bruins. So we're going to win. We lose 6 to 3. So we lose our very first game 6 to 3. That's fine. Let's go another week right here. Let's see the, uh, what we can do against the Islanders. We win the game. There we go. So we win against the Islanders. We win against uh, Chicago. So two wins in a row. We lost against uh, Nashville Predators, which is fine by me, boys. So right now, not too bad. Not too bad. So that's two and two so far in um, four games played. Uh, fifth game right here. Let's go. Let's simulate it. Let's simulate it for fifth game against Dallas. Are we going to win? We won in overtime. There we go. It looks like my setups are working right now. It looks like it's working, boys. I like that. I like that quite a lot. All right, let's keep, let's keep it going. So the next five games. So two, five, uh, four right here. And uh, five. So two, four, and five. Yep. Yeah. So all the way up to the Boston Bruins game at the 28th right here. We lost in a shootout right there. That's fine. We got a point. We got a point. That's all that matters, boys. I know I've got a shitty team, so I, I don't care. As long as I get points, that's bonuses for me right there. Uh, another loss against Anaheim. There's a win. Looks like we got the upper hand on Chicago right here. We got an overtime loss against the Vancouver Canucks. It looks like Buffalo got injured, though. So already our best defenseman gets injured. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. So he was a, a, just a minor injury, I guess. So just a minor injury. We got another loss right there, though, against the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, so... There's the first 10 games, boys, and we got a record of 4-4-2. Four, four it's not horrible. It's not good either. You know, it's it's in the middle zone. It's better than I what I, I was expected uh, expecting out of this team, that's for sure. So 4-4-2, four, four not too bad. Our best player right now is Capo Caco. 10 points in 10 games played. This boy is a point-per-game player. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see real quick right here. So where are we at in our division? We are fifth place, so not too far behind everybody else, boys. We we are there. We are in the uh, wild card spots. It's it's interesting that the Maple Leafs are actually uh, struggling. Well, they're not struggling. I think actually they're doing pretty good, but it's just that that division itself is a stud ass division, boys. The Montreal Canadiens, like they should be, are very top of the division. That's pretty good. I like to see that, boys. All right, so there's that, I guess. Uh, so take a look really quick at all the stats. We're gonna 
make sure that uh, everything is fine on our end right here. So first off, in our division, where are we at? What's our stats right here? So uh, point uh, goals per game. Are we here anywhere near? No, we're actually one of the worst teams in our division for goals per game. So we're not really scoring goals. And we're giving a lot of goals. Yeah, all right. So we are pretty much, yeah, goals against per game. We're kind of the middle. We're in the middle. So we're not doing too bad. Like we're not giving too many goals, but it's just we're giving more, way more than we're actually scoring. It's not a lot I can do. Like that's just the players we've got, I guess. Power play. Uh, our power play is pretty decent. Yeah, our power play is pretty decent. The five, the plus five is really helping out tremendously, boys. Now I don't know if we have the actual right setup for the power play. We'll have to see eventually. Uh, Eighty-eight. For the Rangers, for the penalty kill. So penalty kill is actually pretty decent. It's really good. 100% for uh, the Capitals. They haven't been scored on right now. Wow, that's great. That's great for them. Uh, individual stats so far. 10, goal, uh, 10 uh, points in 10 games played for Capo Caco boys. Zero. Now there's going to be some minuses here. But I'm not going to look too much into it. Uh, they're doing good. I mean, 9 points, 10... I'm looking at points right there. They're producing, boys. And that's all I can ask for right now. You see that? Capo Caco, a playmaker, is scoring the goals. And Panarin, which is a sniper, is actually the one passing the puck. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, that's uh, something in it by itself. Uh, Buffalo Guns are actually doing really good. What about Lafreniere? Four points in 10 games played. There we go. One goal. Already better than his actual season. That's for sure. That's much better. That is that. I don't know if I want to change anything. I don't think so. Don't think there's anything I kind of I, I need to change or, or or at all. So we're just going to keep it going. All right here. We're going to simulate another 10 game two, four right here. Six, eight and uh, 10. So all the way up to the Toronto Maple Leafs game. Now I got to remember. All right. So it was 15% for the power play and 88% uh, for the penalty kill. So that's uh, what we got to remember, boys. We got to remember these stats. Seems like we're doing pretty good right now. Yeah, we're actually winning games right here. We're bouncing back up. I like to see that, boys. So there's a loss against Ottawa. That's kind of unacceptable. Unless Ottawa is a good team in this universe. I don't know. Uh, there we go. We lost against uh, Montreal. That's okay. We won against Toronto. That's a big win right there. Big wins, boys. Yeah, those wins, we got to get them. And we're getting them. Yeah, we're getting some winning streaks. I like that. We're actually doing much better than we're supposed to be doing. And I like that a lot, boys. So 10 8 8 2 after 20 games played. Uh, let's take a look. What was our uh, last uh, 10 games? So record of the last 10 games is 6 and 4. That's really good. Really good. And Panarin is uh, the best player now. 22 points in 20 games played. Uh, for that first line, our first line is really producing. It's really doing good, boys. So I like to see that quite a lot. I really like that. Uh, let's uh, take a look really quick. So we are still in the wild card spot. Uh, kind of tied up with the Islanders. Kind of uh, really in there. We're, we're marching on. We're going to have to fight for it, boys. But if we keep having good... Like uh, good simulations and stuff. We should be doing all right. Looks like Toronto bounce is bouncing back up. Actually, they, they're doing really good. 11-5-1, but they're still in the wildcard spot. So that tells you how much that division is just stacked up to the, to the mids right there. That just tells you everything. Uh, all right, so that's, uh, that's pretty much that. Let's take a look. Uh, edit lines. We're going to look around really quick. So Panarin. Plus four, plus three, plus seven. So that first line is really working fantastic. They're doing really good. And that Capo Caco's got 13 goals and 20 games played already, boys. He's going to grow up like crazy because of that. What about Lafreniere? Eight points, two goals in uh, 20 games played. Not too bad. P minus one, zero, minus one. So it looks like these guys might not be made for each other. I just want to make sure. Minus four, minus two, minus four. Yeah, these guys. Okay. It's, I think it's time for the change, boys. Let's so let's try that out like that. So, he's, yeah, he's a 4.9% of shooting. He's a nine, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to play Kreider instead of Lafreniere. Lafreniere, I'm, I'm moving him down to the third line. We're going to try that one out, boys. And Chittle, 
uh, yeah, he's gonna play there. So that's a plus three right there. We're gonna try that one out like that. And the mirror, not much I can do about that one. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna do too good, but I don't expect them to do too good. Buffalo gun, uh, doing pretty decent, I guess. That these guys are not playing too good together. Uh, but we got um, two out of three uh, pairs that are doing pretty decent. Goldies. Now it looks like the Georgia of the backup is doing not too good. All right. But he didn't play a single game. Actually, he didn't really. He, he played a game, right? Yeah, he played one game. So we can't uh, do any, say anything against him, really. We do have Georgia uh, Chesterkin, which is doing. He's doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job. He's doing all right. Uh, he could be doing a little bit better, but he's in there. He's definitely in there. So he's doing just fine, boys. What makes a good team in the simulation for EA is the goalies. The goalies, if they produce well, if they do super well, they're just going to elevate the play of your team. If they do otherwise, then that's you already know what's going to happen, right? So uh, the goalie makes all the difference in the game. So let's see really quick. Uh, did we move up? So Rangers... We actually are scoring more goals. We're scoring more goals for one, uh, from four, uh, 2.3 to 2.70. And we're giving less goal. Well, we're giving a little bit more goals. We're still giving a little bit more goals. We're in there. So we're pretty a lot more closer, boys, than we uh, than we were. So that's that's good. Power play went up. Power play went up, boys, big time. Now, yeah, it went from 15 to 21%. But for some reason... Everybody else's power play went up as well. So uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Our power play went up. I don't have anything to change right here. Penalty kill. And it went from 88 to 60, 64%. Oh, wow. All right. So yeah, our penalty kill is not good. Now I got to change that one up. I got to change our penalty kill. So let's take a look really quick. Uh, we're going to go into strategies and we're going to change the penalty kill. Maybe change that up. So penalty kill is not too good. What we can do is try diamond. We're going to try diamond for the penalty kill. Trying that uh, that one out if, the, if it works or not. The rest is uh, just fine. Power of play is perfect as it is. Let's keep it going, boys. Another 10 games. We're going to simulate the other 10 games right here. Going very slowly for us. So 2, 4, 6, 8... And 10, so right out, uh, out there at uh, the Washington Capitals game. Let's see if we can get a good thing going now. That's a two, loss, uh, two losses in a row if you count the other one right there. Uh, there's an 8 to nothing win against the, uh, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's really good to see. Another win against New Jersey. A loss against Saber, the Sabres. A win against uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Good. Another win against the Blues. Good. Can we get more wins? Can we get it going? There's a loss against Minnesota. A win against Central Sharks. So it looks like uh, we're doing pretty well. We're doing better than I expected, boys. Uh, there's a loss against uh, Carolina, 6-5. to five. We're giving too many goals, though. We're giving a lot of goals. When we're losing, we're giving a lot of goals. There's another loss right there. So two losses in a row. Uh, for uh, last 10 games, that's going to give us a record of 5-5. Five and five. So it's pretty, still pretty good for us. Uh, as long as we're 500, it's good enough. It's going to be good enough for us to be in the wildcard position, which is exactly where we are still. We actually moved up in terms of points, so we're better than the Islanders now. So that's good. We're doing better. Uh, we both have the wildcard spot right now. Maple Leaf went up from the first position now. Look at that. Yeah, they went up. They're 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 tearing it up big time. Now, if Matthews is not the best scorer in this team. In the best score of the league, there's a problem. Like, there's really a problem with the simulation because in real life, he's on par to get 50 goals and 50 games played, boys. So, uh, you gotta you gotta like, have something similar here. And all right, so we got on our part, the Bruins are the best team of our division. The Flyers, the Capitals, but we're doing we're not too far behind, boys. Just a bit more, and we could be good. Capo Kako, they're going back and forth, Panarin and Kako, back and forth between the best player. Kako is the best now, 16 goals, 32 points. I like to see that. I like to see that quite a lot, boys. Uh, all right, so let's take a look again uh, at our teams. So is our player, are our players doing better? Now this team, I know I don't have to change anything about these guys. They're doing just fine. 
What about this? Ah, much better. So these guys are playing very well together. So I, I, I want to I wanna keep these guys together. They play well. So they got a sniper, playmaker, power forward. It's working out for them. Uh, La Frenière? Uh, nah, it's not really changing anything. The plus three is not changing anything. But uh, I think La Frenière is producing a bit more, maybe. I think he's producing more. Yeah, he's getting... He's, He's playing better. He's playing better. He, from, he went from a 4% to a 9% of shooting percentage. Much better. Uh, Chittle and Kratzov. Yeah, I don't... See, he's not playing with the best players. But he's got a plus 3. So I don't know, boys. There's not a lot I can't change right here. Fourth line is doing better. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like that for now. All right, there's not a lot I can do. These guys are just not playing well. The defense is just struggling. So we've got now it's these two pairs that are playing good. For some reason, these two are not playing well together. I don't know. It's because there's two two-way forwards, right? If I moved up like that, maybe it would be uh, better. I don't know, but I can't do that because they're not on the same level uh, of uh, of play. Goalies, once again, Georgiev. Well, he's, he's playing a lot of games, isn't he? All right, so he's playing a lot of games, but uh, he's not... Like he's not winning and he's playing pretty garbage. So, Georgiev, not too good. Not too good of a goalie, boys. I'm actually, there we go. Just put your shirt in. Shusturkin is actually doing really good. So, let's just keep him in there. And Georgiev, I don't really trust him. I really don't trust him. He's not doing too good, boys. And uh, what about our, what about our, our AHL? How are they doing over there? Yeah, all right. Now, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about our AHL, right? Uh, Miller, not doing too good. Oh, okay, yeah, they're all in the minuses. Let's not talk about our AHL team. We, we don't have any real prospect or anything, so we don't have to worry about them. All right, uh, after 30 games played, did we move up in terms of team stats? I, I, I want to see, boys. From 272, 310. Wow, all right, good. We're really scoring more and more goals, boys, as time goes by. We're also allowing more, though. We're starting to allow more goals, so... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to think about that, boys. We're allowing more goals, but we're scoring more. As long as we're scoring more than we're allowing, I'm fine, I guess. Power play is going down, so the power play went down now. Okay, so power play is not that good anymore. Penalty kill went up a little bit. So diamond, we're going to keep it at diamond. It looks like diamond's working out. Power play, not so much. It's going, it's trending down. So I want to change the power play. Uh, it's a plus five. I don't have to uh, edit the lines. So uh, what I do need to uh, do, I guess, is for the power play. It's not working out. Let's put it on uh, overall, uh, overload. We'll see if overload works out for us. And uh, that should be good enough. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right, so... Let's keep it like that for now, boys. And instead of protect the net, boys, I'm just going to keep it at contain the puck. We're going to change that up a little bit. Maybe that's going to help out our defense. You never know. Anything that can help out our defense, I'm up for it. Uh, right at this point, I really want to help out my team as much po as possible. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Philadelphia Flyers game. We're going to be at uh, 40 games played. So have the season done at that point. Let's keep it going, boys. We got a shootout loss, an overtime loss afterwards. So we got points. We're getting these bonus points. So at least there's that. There's another loss against uh, Montreal. Though. We're getting a big time losing streak. Yeah, big time losing streak going on right here. Don't like to see that, but what are you going to do? It, it's bound to happen. We don't have that much of a good team. There we go. There's a, some wins bouncing back up right here against uh, Islanders. There's a huge win against the Islanders. Our wild card... Uh, uh, division spot right here. Uh, Mont uh, can we win against uh, Pittsburgh? We sure can. So there's another two loss, but I win against Pittsburgh. So not too good. Uh, well, actually, this is a pretty bad 10 games right there. Last 10 games. 4-4-2. Four, four, and two. Yeah, that's a, the worst record we've got so far. We're still above 500 overall. So as long as we keep it at there. Yeah, all right. So yeah, we got to play better. We started fall down just for one time, boys, and all of a sudden, we're not in the wild card position anymore. So we gotta be careful. We really gotta be careful with that one. Uh, still, Panarin, 42 points, 40 games played, good. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough one. Now, I don't know 
uh, does that have anything to do with the way our team plays? Do I have to bring the team back where it was? Let's uh, let's take a look really quick. Games for uh, per game. We're scoring less goals, so we're trending down in goals now. And uh, what about uh, goals per game uh, against per game? We're trending down. Okay, so look. I want to give less. I want to keep it. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to keep the same settings. It uh, seems like it's kind of a, a strong point right there. Rangers, we're going up. Power play is going up. Exactly what I wanted. Penalty kill is going up. Everything's going up. So I don't know why we're doing... We were. We had a better or worse uh, a worse simulation right there. I don't know what what's going on here, boys. I... I'm kind of clueless right here. I'm kind of clueless a little bit. Why are we struggling? Actually, the yeah, the third line is starting to do better. Third line starting to do better, boys. They're yeah, they're moving up. I like yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot. Yeah, they're doing better. And what about uh, what about okay? So now it's the third line, second line. There's always one line that's gonna do not too good. It's not a lot I can change about that, boys. Not a lot. So yo, Kreider. Yeah, Kreider is doing worse. So I think it's just the second line curse or something that's going on here. It's got to be some sort of curse, boy. So you know what? Let's put Lafreniere back in there. I mean, Lafreniere was doing good. Producing more, but I feel like I want to keep it in there. We were actually doing pretty decent when we were uh, out there. These guys are just... We don't want to touch them. They're fantastic. They're doing really good. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep it going. Uh, another f uh, Another 10 games, boys. Uh, put, move them back where they were. Let's see if, uh, if that's going to change anything. Hopefully it does. Maybe we get, uh, win more games. I don't know, boys. Two, four. Okay, so hold on. Uh, two, four. Yeah, six, eight, uh, and ten. So all the way up to the Colorado Avalanche game. Okay, are we going to win more games if um, if Lafreniere plays, he plays in the second line? I don't know. Looks like the head coach for the Philadelphia Flyers, I think, got... Uh, uh, fired. That's uh, that's something. So there's a win, another uh, a loss and shootout. So I'm happy with. I'm fine with losses if we uh, get the points, the extra points. I'm fine with the the losses, boys. I just wanna don't. I don't wanna get too many losses in regulation. So far, it looks like we're getting most of the losses in extra points with extra points. So that's good. Uh, we got a uh, Ryan Lindgren, which is injured. That's our D one of our D men, right? Yeah. One of our demon is injured, so we're gonna have to change him up for Ryan Johnson. Now 78 overall. Uh, do we move him up like that? Seems like this is better, right? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what is he? And uh, and I 78. Gotta look at the poise. Maybe that maybe the poise does something, boys. I don't know. Maybe it does something, or maybe the vision. Is there a vision like that? No, it's no vision for him. In fact, I think it's really and high, really, right? Maybe it's aggressiveness. You know what? Maybe it's aggressiveness that I got to look at. I'm going to put AEC in there. It seems like a better option right here. So we're going to put AEC for now. Uh, so we got a minor injury. It's not uh, nothing too shabby. Uh, it's not uh, like it's not like it's a bad, it's Buffalo Gunner or anything. And we're actually winning games now. Uh, two wins in a row right here. I like to see that. Uh, Lingren is back. Do I want him back in? No, we're winning games. I don't want him back in. Yeah, no. If we're winning games, I don't want uh, I don't want him back in. We're winning games. I don't want to change anything right here. Yeah, we're winning games. We're in a big time winning streak. Yeah, no, I, I'm not changing anything. We're in uh we've got a five game winning streak going on right now. I do not want to change anything whatsoever. Uh our defenseman that was injured is gonna have to sit down, boys, because now we've got seven and one and two last record. And we've moved up the second best team of our division just like that. Just like that, boys. Yeah. Don't want to change anything. Maybe it was the defenseman. Maybe the defenseman does the difference. Well, I mean, what's the difference between these two defensemen? I got to look really quick. Uh, I, I got to look what the, what the difference is right here. So Johnson is an 85 aggressiveness. Is, is Lindgren like Lindgren an 85 of aggressiveness as, as well? So I don't know. They're kind of the same. Maybe he's got uh, Johnson's got more discipline. That's why, right? I'm gonna keep what's working out right now. Johnson's making our win, our game, our team win. So I'm happy with that. I'm keeping him in there. Uh, Kreider, yep. 
Okay, so these guys not not the best, but not the worst either. These guys are actually doing pretty decent together. There we go. Lafrania is actually producing a little bit. Yeah, he's doing all right. 30 points in 50 games played is just fine by me, boys. That is just fine by me for a player like him. He's having a, a pretty good season. Uh, there we go. I mean, Kako, though, has a season like a really good season on the first line. He's, it's really helping him out. 47 points, 50 games played. I mean, that's a start last season for him. He's doing really good. Really good with uh, the likes of Panarin and in uh, Zabinejad. What about uh, Buffalgan? Doing pretty good on his side. 37 points. Yeah, doing really good. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot, boys. So that's uh, that on that side. Uh, what about... So our team. What's the main difference right here? What the, what changed? Got to look at our team, boys, and see what changed right there because I have no idea. No idea what could have possibly changed it. Maybe it's the, the whole Lafreniere thing. He needs to play on the second line, maybe. So, yeah, we moved up in terms of goals per game. 3.14 now. Goals against... Oh, all the way down. Oh, all the way down. We're the best... Okay, so we're the best defensive team. Good. We are the best defensive team now, boys. So that's explaining a lot. Uh, Rangers... Third best power play team, good, 26. It's, it's moving up, continuously moving up, boys. Same thing for the penalty kills. It's just trending up. That's good. That's good. I don't have to change anything. All right, good, good, good. We don't have to change nothing, boys. Uh, we're going to do another 10 games. Uh, what that's going to do, that's going to uh, move us up towards the trade deadline. So we're going to do that to four, uh, six, 8 and 10. So all the way up to the Detroit Red Wings game. He's going to move up to the trade deadline. We're going to do the trade deadline in the next uh, video, boys. So let's see what we can do. Are we going to continue? Our, our, our winning streak went down right there. It's, um, it got destroyed, but uh, we got another win right afterwards. So that's, uh, that's just fine by me. Can we get some more wins? Uh, like, are we going to win more than we're going to lose? That's the question right here with a new... Uh, new roster or the new player. We got a, an injury. Assistant coach uh, replace him. Sure. Assistant coach replace him. Uh, shootout win. Good. We got a win. There's a last in regulation against uh, Philadelphia uh, Flyers. Uh, we got to win these matches. Come on. There we go. Pittsburgh, we got the upper hand on them. We always win against Pittsburgh. So I don't have to worry about them. So it was Radich, right? He's a right D. Okay, so Radich is a right D. Who was replacing him? It wasn't Longvis. It was probably... Yeah, it was uh, Salaf that was replacing him. So Radich, you're going in there. Just like that. All right, good. Let's keep it going, boys. Are we going to get uh, a win? No, and last against um, the Devils. All right. Decline trade. Uh, there's a win against uh, Florida. Can we get another win? A loss against Devils against, but in overtime, so we got a point. Another loss in overtime, we got another point at least. All right, so not as good. So I might be tempted to just put back my other defenseman back in there then. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're still in there, but the last record, see, 4-4-2 four, four once again. Uh, we never got, at least we never got so far in the season, uh, below average uh, type of uh, simulation. So at least we got lucky on that one. Uh, we would have basically got in trouble if we had that. So we are lucky as well to be in the weakest of the divisions, I, I feel like. Yeah, I think we're in the, the weakest of divisions. We're just lucky to uh, to have that uh, going on for us. We're still doing pretty good, though. Still doing pretty good. So I, I want to quickly look. Uh, we're going to stop it right here, but we're going to quickly look. So Kako moved up to an 81 overall, boys. We got an 82. Uh, so Lafrania didn't grow. He did not grow, boys, so far. Don't know how much he's going to grow for next year. He's not producing that much. 60 points. He only got 6 points from uh, in 10 games played. The last 10 games played. But shooting percentage is going up. So that's all I can say, I guess. Uh, Kako. Yeah, all right. So it's fine. Karakraksov is now an 80 overall. So he's not... He's moving up now. That means uh, we can forcibly... We can put him in there. We could play him in there, boys, if we wanted to. So we could try and put Kratsov in there with instead of Buchnevich. Uh, 73. So see, it's 
It's a 73 right here, but he's doing so well. I don't want to change anything for him because he's doing very well. So that that that's doing very well together right here. Uh, Gossier, all right, so nobody went up right there. Yeah, I'm not changing that line because it's working out. They've got two snipers and a playmaker. It's working out, boys. It's just working out that way. Uh, playmakers, I feel like what hurts, I think it, uh, two playmakers cannot play together for some reason. I think that's what's going on right here. So I might be tempted to just put Chittle in there, right? Unless I do something, hold on. Unless I do something right here. Because I could play Kreider in there as a power forward playmaker. There we go. Uh, we got a power forward right here. Um, two way forward sniper. Yeah, so we could do that right here. We could actually do that uh, just like that. So uh, we could always do that like it was, but wasn't working out too much. I think what we can do is definitely do like Kratzov. Like put Kratzov in the second line now. He's eligible to do it. He's, um, he's a power forward, so we play with a playmaker and another power forward. Maybe it's going to work out. It's the same as a sniper, right? So you never know. Maybe that's going to work out a lot. So we could probably try that one out. Put Lafayette in the third line as uh, with a two-way forward and a sniper. It seems like two snipers, uh, one playmaker on the line it seems like to be the job. Maybe a two-way forward could do the trick as well. You never know. Uh, so I feel like that's what we're going to do right here. That's power forward, playmaker, power forward. So is that working out? How is that working out for them? Not too, not too good. I don't know. Uh, well, is that because of their stats maybe? Because there's one that's... Okay, so power forwards are like... They're, they're like two-way forwards. The power forwards are uh, playing like two ways. Uh, basically. So, okay. So I see what it is. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the best option I can do for him right here. And over here, they've got basically two two-ways with uh, a playmaker. So, it's all right. I think it's all right. We're going to try that one out. We're going to try this one out, boys. I think I'm just going to put Lingren back in there. I'm going to put Lingren back in there, boys. I, I just feel like this is the best option for us, uh, really. It, it truly is. Now, defensive and offensive defenseman, yeah, it should work out. It should be able to work out that way. So, I don't know. Goalies, uh, Georgiev went back up. So, he's, he's playing better. Georgiev's playing better. And Shosturkin's just going up. He's just playing fantastic for us. He's had a, a really good season. So, that's helping out our team. So, all right. I'm happy with what I, what I got. We're going to take a look at the trade options for the next video. Remember to be like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.